You're watching News 10, where your local news begins now. Your connection in Southern Oregon and Northern California. This is News 10 at 6. Oregon cities and counties waiting on state lawmakers for approval to legally ban medical marijuana dispensaries. The House approved a bill to allow communities to temporarily ban pawn shops. Now the proposal goes to the Senate. Good evening, I'm Trish Close. I'm Rick Tillery. Thanks for joining us. Medical marijuana dispensaries became legal under state law this week. Now, nearly 300 businesses in Oregon have submitted a dispensary application with the state. Who says Ashley Carrasco explains why getting the request approved is not an easy task. That's tonight's top story at six. Oregon Health Authority has received hundreds of medical marijuana dispensary applications from all across the state since Monday. Wednesday, Jackson County had the third highest record with 18 online submissions. Director of Pharmacy Product Tom Burns says the purpose of legalizing dispensaries is to make sure people get their medical marijuana products in a safe way. So the facility needs to be a fixed facility. It can't be in a car wandering around the streets. Before being given a dispensary license, business owners need to have their product tested and they need to have an approved security system. The state cannot prohibit a license to anyone who has been caught vending marijuana before the law was initiated. No authority over or any ability to, to regulate anything prior to Monday, March 3rd. But if they are found guilty of breaking the law... The owner of it must be uh, checked for criminal uh, drug uh, crimes, and if they have drug crimes, they may not function as the owner. Once the requirements are fulfilled, Burns says, don't light up just yet. We will then subsequently do a uh, an on-site inspection, and that on-site inspection will verify that, you know, everything that they say they're doing, they're in fact doing, and they do have an inventory control section. Covering your news, Ashley Crosco, News 10. Local city leaders already deciding if they will allow medical marijuana dispensaries in city jurisdiction. Talent is holding a city council meeting tonight to discuss the issue. It starts in about 30 minutes. So far, Health Authority has received 18 applications from Jackson County. Fewer than 10 applications reported for Josephine, Klamath, and Curry counties. Multnomah had the most applications with 135 people applying to open medical marijuana shops. Mary Jane's Attic, a medical dispensary in Medford, planning to appeal the city's decision. City Finance Director revoked the dispensary's business license earlier this year. City Council will consider the appeal at a city council meeting tomorrow night. That meeting starts at 7. Meanwhile, the state of Washington issued its first legal recreational marijuana license today. The license allows a dispensary to grow and process weed for recreational use. Sean Green, a former medical marijuana dispensary owner, was the first to receive a license. Washington State Liquor Board says they will issue licenses to sell recreational marijuana later this spring, with sales expected to begin in June or July. 